long, long time ago, I can still remember, etc. Uh, I had a pen called an Omas 360 Magnum, and it looked like this. And then a part on the inside broke, and I couldn't use it for a long time. And I was very sad, and there was no rejoicing. But then, my friend William from the UK said, I may be able to fix that. And I said, really? He said, nah, I may be able to fix that. He didn't actually say that, but he doesn't sound like that. But still, you know, you get the idea. I have to make this. This is a dramatic rendition, as the kids say. So, <clears throat> he could 3D print the part that was required, or that was in need of replacement on the inside. And now I have my 360 back. Now, you may know this if you, if you are a regular viewer of this channel, because I've talked about that. But I thought what I would do today is compare that pen to another pen because William also 3D prints pens and he said is there anything in particular that, that you would have in mind and he was just looking for ideas and I said yeah make a triangular pen because of course the 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 fun thing about an Omas 360 is that it is a triangular pen and I thought it was kind of fun it would be fun to have a 3D printed pre pen that's also triangular. So William came up with this. I have reviewed this pen. I've called it the, the Titan. That's what, what Williams' pens are. Williams, Williams, the pens from William. Sorry, it's early. I haven't had a lot of caffeine yet. So <clears throat> that's his company, Titan, Titan Pens. You can find him on Instagram. Do you have a website? No, I just said you can find him on Instagram, William Shakur. And we, he, he, I named it the 720, the, the model. I think he probably has a different name for it, I just named it the 720. Now, I'm not saying that he's going to make these, because I had the feeling that he wasn't offering faceted pens anymore. But I thought it would be kind of interesting, because he created this kind of on the basis of this. Now, of course, it's not a one-on-one -on -one copy, nor would I want a one-on-one -on -one copy, but I was looking for something that I could use. And one thing about Omar's pens, beautiful as they are, is that, th is that they have fairly fragile piston mechanisms. Great nibs, but fragile pistons. So I'm always a little worried, especially with Omas out of business, to use that pen. So now I have this as an everyday user, and I have been using it as an everyday user, and it's been really, really nice. So I just wanted to show you the pen side by side, do a writing sample, and just talk about that a bit, what I like about it, etc. So it's time for another fountain pen shoot out okay so i have put down here the omar 360 magnum this is bigger than the regular 360s uh, here is the titan 720 and here's a pilot metropolitan just for size you can see that these are big pens especially girthy pens i would say but they're not they're not uh, particularly short when you post which you actually shouldn't but just to very carefully give you an idea the um uh, 360, if I remember correctly, is about 7 inches, which is a pretty sweet size, I would say. Now, having said that, what do you have in these two pens? Well, very quick, I mean, I've, I've reviewed, I can't speak anymore, I have reviewed both pens. So a very quick rundown, the Omas 360, there are several incarnations, right? So this is the, the Magnum, which is the biggest one. Uh, there's also a Midi, there's different sizes, some are cartridge convert, well, one is, I think, cartridge filled. Uh, most of them are piston fillers, so uh, piston turning knob. Part of that broke on mine. Um, its 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 main selling feature is, of course, the triangular shape. And then there is a more modern version that they did at some point, which I don't like as much as I like the the traditional model. But I mean, to each their own. Uh, it has an 18 karat nib. In my case, a medium nib. It has an ebonite feed. It has a nib collar that broke on mine, so I got a replacement nib collar from uh, Tom Westrich, the amazing Tom Westrich of penboard.de. Uh, that's great, he, he, had, he had nib collars and it was a fantastic replacement, very pleasant interaction too. Great, great conversation I had with Tom. Anyway, so a uh, triangular section as well, uh, it's definitely not for everyone. People love this or hate this design. I find it super, super comfortable, so I'm so happy William was able to print me the part that required fixing. And again, a big pen. A big pen, right? Then we have the Titan 720, which again is my name for this pen. And 
I say again, I'm sorry, you may not be able to, to purchase this from William, um, and I don't want to send hordes of people his way that all want this, and he, he's not really able to make this anymore, because it is a lot of work to polish these facets. Anyway, a 3D printed pen, it's not the same as a 360, but that's also exactly what I wanted. I, don't, I didn't want a one-on-one -on -one copy, I wanted... William, give me your version of this. And so he did. So we have a couple of things that are very interesting. We have the triangular profile, right, just like on the 360, but it's bigger, it's girthier, it's longer, and it has something that the regular 360 doesn't have. It has an ink window, which I'm sure you can't see very well because it's somewhat darker ink in there, but that is an ink window, which is fantastic. We have the section, which is also triangular. It's a bit rounder, a bit rounder than the regular 360 section, but it's very, very comfortable with nice facets cut out for your fingers, making this a very, very pleasant pen. This doesn't really post. The 360 shouldn't be posted. That that cap is known to crack if you if you post it too too hard or too far. So this pen doesn't post. It's not necessary either. I mean, look at the size of this. I, I wouldn't feel the need to post this. This has a very pleasant broad titanium nib with William's logo on it, which I like a lot. That little dot is just ink. Is it? No, no, wait a minute. No, no, no. That's that's part of it. Sorry. I Sorry, before this I had a black ink in this, so I was confused for one second, but it's all part of the game. Um, an ebonite feed, which is very nice. Bock number 8 nib. They have ebonite feeds. And a piston filler, and this thing holds a massive amount of ink. I don't think I've actually measured how much, but I can tell you it makes a significant dent in a bottle of ink. I mean, look at the diameter of my thumb and I'll look at this pen. It's, it's, it's a lot, and it basically sucks up this much ink. So, anyway... I thought we would compare them side by side. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I had this inked up with one ink, and I didn't want to put that ink in this pen because the 360 is a massive pain to clean. I know this is not an entirely fair comparison, therefore, however, I know this nib very well, I know the feed very well, I know the pen very well, so I can talk to you about how it writes. It's a very smooth writer. So here we have the original Omas. O Oma? Oma 3? What the hell? 360s, the Omar 360s. What's going on? Anyway, the Omar 360 Magnum. I am sorry. Smooth nib. Uh, this is Ackermann Delft's Blau, my my favorite washable blue. And um, again, a nice 18 karat medium nib. I remember buying this pen for five hundred dollars. Um, Das war einmal. Now that Omas is gone, uh, I see these for 1200 on eBay sometimes, which is pretty steep. It's a cotton resin, I think. This is not a celluloid pen. Uh, we're pushing it. But anyway, number six nib. Very pretty design on it. Very, very pretty. Smooth writer, pleasant writer. Uh, this ink is not the wettest ink in the world. So bear that in mind. But it is a very pleasant nib. Very nice and smooth. I've always really liked writing with it, so I'm very happy that I have this back in my stable. If ever you touch one of these, please do not try to twist the cap, because that's known to break them as well. <sighs> so as you hear, very reliable model. Everything breaks when you look at it, but that's okay. Still a fun pen. Okay, here we have the Titan 720. This is Edelstein Star Ruby Red, one of my favorite inks. I really love it. And this is a titanium broad nib. Uh, this nib is rigid as a nail. This will not do any line variation. But I'll, whoops, I'll give you this one. This nib is not really skippy. It's just a little peculiar as to the angle under which you write with it. And I have found that, um, yeah, it just has a smaller sweet spot. And because it's it's titanium, it, it, it is a bit soft. And if it opens up a bit, you put the wrong pressure on it, 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 it starts to railroad and skip. So that's just the way it is. It's a lovely nib though, and I'll show you why. 
So as I'm trying to compare these pens, this is definitely bigger and for people with smaller hands, I don't think this is an option. It's, 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 I think I can only imagine how uncomfortable this must be because even the section, it's girthy. It's a very girthy section. I love it, but again, I don't think this one is for everyone. And again, this, this nib is not primed. I haven't done anything to it or something. It's just a very, very wet writer, which I, I love. Um, now the real strength in this, and I'm not going to do that with this nib because again, this is a nail, uh, this titanium nib. Let's just say it's a lot of fun. I didn't slow down and you see that I was pushing the feet into the paper. Um, but... Not my best writing, especially at the bottom of the page, but you, you get the point. There's a lot of line variation to be had and it is wet. Very, very wet. So, a bigger pen, a girthier pen, but <laughs> I think this is much, how shall I put this, much more robust uh, than the uh, 360. And it has an ink window, which is great. Of course, this is the classic, this is the OG, so, I mean, we cannot discard this. Um, I love this, I love this pen, I think it's a great, great model. Uh, I find it very comfortable. I've had it inked up pretty much since I got it. And I love having this on my desk. Uh, the beauty of the triangular model is it doesn't really roll. So that's fantastic, even though it has no clip, it doesn't roll. And it keeps going. And whenever I uncap it, it writes. So I'm very happy with this to have a... to get my fix for a triangular pen, but without the fragility of the uh, 360 Magnum, the old girl we have to treat with much respect. Whereas this one can take quite a lot. It's rolling off my desk at some point due to user error. I, I squared, I, I sort of pushed it off and there was absolutely nothing going on except for a bit of ink in the cap. So I wouldn't want to do that with this pen. Now, having said that, I hope this was useful. A one-on-one -on -one comparison. I know the inks were completely different, but again, the 360 is a nice wet writer. I had another 360 with a fine nib. Uh, that was also a smooth writer, so I, I'm pretty sure those nibs all write in a fairly similar manner. I hope this was useful, I hope this was an entertaining comparison, and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye.